Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we will be learning how to subtract integers. You must be able to add integers as part of the steps to subtract them. The link to our adding integers video is in the description below if you need to review. Let's take a look at our examples. Our first example is 8 minus 5. And 8 minus 5 looks like the same types of subtraction problems you've been doing since you learned how to subtract. And when you come across these, I want you to go ahead and just subtract them. Don't worry about the subtracting integer rules. Just subtract them as you've been doing. So you know that 8 minus 5 is 3. If you watched our adding integers video, you'll recognize the next problem, negative 3 minus 4. And we used it in the adding integers problem because you could think about this as adding two negative integers. But if you're more comfortable following the steps to subtraction, you should follow the steps for subtracting integers here. So what are those steps? Well, we take the first integer and we keep it exactly the same. So the negative 3 is going to remain negative 3. Then our subtraction sign we change to addition, and then we change the sign of our second integer. So the positive 4 becomes a negative 4. Now you can see that we're adding two negative integers, and that's why we said that you could think about this as adding integers. If you're subtracting, however, you're going to be changing the subtraction sign to addition and the sign of your second integer. And when you do that, you may want to also add the parentheses around the negative 4 so you can see that the negative sign is grouped with the 4. And we are adding integers with the same sign. We have negative 3 plus negative 4. So 3 plus 4 is 7. And when we add integers with the same sign, we keep that sign. So our answer is negative 7. This example is negative 14 minus negative 6. And it may look similar to you to our previous example, but let's note some important differences. The previous example was negative 3 minus 4. This example, we have negative 14 minus a negative 6. We are subtracting a negative integer. So you do need to follow the steps for subtracting integers here. You can't just treat this one as adding two negatives. You have to follow the rules. So those rules were to keep that first integer exactly how it is. So negative 14 stays negative 14. The subtraction sign, we change to an addition sign. And we're changing the sign of the second integer. It was negative 6. We're going to change it to a positive 6. Now we have negative 14 plus 6. That's adding integers with different signs. And we're going to have to follow the rules for adding integers with different signs. Those rules tell us to look at our absolute values. So the absolute value of negative 14 is 14. The absolute value of 6 is 6 and we are going to be subtracting our absolute values. So the number with the larger absolute value, the negative 14, the absolute value of 14, we're going to take first. We're going to subtract from it the absolute value of 6, which is 6. And 14 minus 6 is 8. Now we have to determine whether that 8 is positive or negative. We go back to our absolute values. The number with the larger absolute value is negative 14. So our answer has to be negative. So negative 14 minus negative 6 is equal to negative 8. In this example, we have 2 minus 7. And we're going to use our subtracting integer rules to solve this problem. The 2 is going to remain positive 2. The subtraction sign changes to addition. And our positive 7, we're going to change to a negative 7. Now we have 2 plus negative 7, so we're adding integers with different signs. And those rules are to look at the absolute values of our numbers. So the absolute value of 2 is 2, and the absolute value of negative 7 is 7. And we are going to need to subtract those absolute values. So negative 7 has an absolute value of 7. It's the larger of the two absolute values. And we're going to subtract the 2 from it. So 7 minus 2 is 5. 
Then we need to determine if our 5 is going to be positive or negative. Going back to our absolute values, the number with the larger absolute value was negative 7, so our answer has to be negative. So 2 minus 7 is negative 5. In this example, we have 3 minus a negative 9. And we're going to use our subtracting integer rules to solve this problem. And those rules say that our 3, the first number, remains the same. So positive 3 is going to stay positive 3. Then we change the subtraction to an addition. And we change the sign of our second integer. So the negative 9 is going to be a positive 9. Now we have 3 plus 9. We're adding integers with the same sign, but also you might notice that 3 plus 9 looks like the same addition problems you've been doing since you learned how to add, so we're going to go ahead and just add them. 3 plus 9 is positive 12. So 3 minus negative 9 is positive 12. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.